Republican voters are apparently no longer content to only bomb Muslims who exist in the real world. They've turned their sights on fictional Muslims as well, according to a new poll. This is according to a public policy poll, and they asked 532 Republicans, would you support or oppose bombing Agrabah? While 57% of respondents said they were not sure, 30% said they supported bombing it. Only 13% opposed it. Only 1% knew, apparently, that it was a fictional city from Disney's Aladdin. It doesn't actually exist. What are you doing saying you want to bomb it? Uh, so that's 30%. I mean, almost twice as many aren't sure. But you would have, shouldn't 100% not be sure since they certainly haven't heard any news about the tense situation brewing know, but it's just, in Agrabah. The reason why that poll means nothing. It's a, totally amusing. But it's no different than, than you know, Howard Stern's man on the street interviews, right? <laughs> like it's... Yeah, it's, it, it, does, it does mean one thing, right, which I, I'm with you. Yeah. It, it, right, it, it does mean one thing, that if you named any real city, they would also want to bomb that. They're, yeah. they're comfortable with bombing. Particularly anything associated with Muslims. Right, that's right. Yeah. Uh, obviously, yeah. Muslims are yeah, not going to yeah. bomb white people. Right, it, it doesn't even have to a, be that's real. That's like an act of war. Right. Um, but, the, you know, you, you ask this question, and people think instinctively, I should know that. They're embarrassed that they don't know it. They don't want to admit that they don't know it. And so they assume that, why are we asking the question unless that's a dangerous place in the world? So yeah. it's, not, it's not quite fair. And, but so, so I immediately thought the same thing, Ben. First, I, I, I didn't know Agrabah because I hadn't watched Aladdin. I would have been in the 57% going, mm, that's weird. I, I don't even, I've never even heard of Agrabah. Yeah. That's right. super weird. Right. Yeah. Which right? I imagine I've heard was of all the major But it's, your, thing, your thing would have been not that you're not sure. Your thing would have been like, if I don't know where a place is, I, yeah. my default is going to be a don't bump. Yeah, or <laughs> provide more information before I decide. Yeah, yeah, I, it's yeah. a big, it's a sure. heavy risk. But you're biased because you're from Tatooine. <laughs> <laughs> now, so, so now, then the second thing I thought is, yeah, but would Democrats have done better? It would, you know, if you had done this trick on Democrats, they probably wouldn't have known. They probably would have had their instinctual reaction, whatever it is. Yeah. Well, lucky for us, it turns out public policy polling. Thought the same thing. Yeah. And so well, they, they asked ask Democrats everybody. as well. They ask everybody, here are the Democratic results. 19% uh, said they would support bombing Agrabah, about 50% lower than <laughs> the Republicans. Still bad. While 36% said they would oppose it, which is almost three times as, as high a percentage saying that they would oppose it. So that's where I think we have uh, this poll being actually very relevant. So it went from like cutesy, cute yeah. little trick, Jimmy Kimmel on the street, Howard Stern on the street, etc. To like, oh, wait a minute, look at that. They come up with a fictional city, and you, then you see the proclivity of the voters. So for the uh, GOP, for the Republican voters, but 30 to 13, right? 30% saying, yeah, God damn it, bomb that city, whatever, wherever it is. Only 13% saying, I don't know that city, maybe we shouldn't bomb it, yeah. <laughs> right? Whereas for the Republican, uh, Democrats, it's the opposite. 19% saying, oh, yeah, go ahead, bomb it, which also is, by the way, depressing. And 36% saying, wait, 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 no, no, don't bomb it. Yeah. So totally. that, that, there you go. I mean, that is a pretty good view into the Democratic mind versus the Republican mind. Yeah. There I mean, are three, three no, groups no, of people. No shit. There are three groups of people this poll reflects badly on. Republicans, Democrats, and pollsters. <laughs> <laughs> the third category being, look, if that's what your yeah. data is worth. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, know. I like, no, but I, look, some public policy polling continues to do really interesting polls. And sometimes we learn things that we didn't know. So, for example. Oh, no, I'm not knocking a, them. No, no, I yeah, am. Yeah. Uh, so, in a, in, a, in a previous campaign, they asked uh, Republican primary voters in Alabama and Mississippi. Now, it's Republican primary voters, the most right wing in Alabama and Mississippi. And one of the states had 29% saying that black people and white people shouldn't be allowed to be married, it should be illegal. Black yeah. people and white people, okay? And the other state had 21%. Yeah. I was blown away by that. Yeah. I didn't think that Republicans were that backwards, right? Yeah. At least some of them, some of them that are primary voters. Donald Trump, by the way, polling at about 29% now. But, but, <laughs> but, but I do want to say, I, I, I think one of the implications of this is, is, is policymakers should not be taking polling results about Syria. To the bank because it kind of suggests, mm. as Ben was saying, there's right? a reflexive. That's what I meant by my three yeah, groups of people you. because there's a reflexive response, as Ben was saying, in different groups of voters. Yeah. You pretty much know going in what it's going yeah. to be. So, rapid fire, I'd like to give you some other scary results from this just to remind yeah. you of the crazy world that we live in. 36% of, of Republican primary voters believe that thousands of Arabs in uh, New Jersey cheered when the World Trade Center collapsed on 9 11. Not and true. why shouldn't they? It's just not true, but they've heard it a thousand times. 
About 54% support banning Muslims from entering the United States. 46% support the creation of a national database of Muslims in the United States. And by the way, and this is sort of interesting, maybe Ted Cruz can do something with this. Donald Trump is at 45% with Republicans who want to bomb Aladdin, and only 22% with ones who don't want to bomb Aladdin. Well, I don't know exactly <laughs> See, what that, that one, information, but that's interesting. No, th that, that one is not surprising. <laughs> okay, so let's now acknowledge things that are equally obvious but need to be said. If the city's name was not Agrabah but was Fairfield, should we bomb Fairfield? Yeah. Okay, any random Fairfield. Should we blow up all Okay, I believe which, that, that, that the answer to that would have been near, I hope near, 0%. For Democrats and Republicans, I think that the the, the thing that, that RJ and I were talking about that instinctive response would almost not have worked with Fairfield because right. even people who wouldn't know they'd be like almost anyone even not following the news would be like, I'm sorry, what happened in Fairfield? Like I'm not going to rush into this before I kill those those people who I feel I feel some kinship with. Yeah. But that that's exactly my Humans, point. That's you know. your point. That's yeah. exactly my yeah. point, which is I. I'm not going to bomb. There's real people in Fairfield, I assume. Right, yeah. right. right. Whereas right. in Agrabah, there's just dirty Arabs. What difference yeah, is right. it? Well, there's genies. I, I, I think that. I think that's exactly right. I'm wondering if we can stop the Republicans by allowing them to ban all immigration from Agrabah and declare <laughs> mission accomplished. <laughs> We've got a deal on that right. one, guys. Yeah. We've heard you. You know what? It does make sense. Right. And we're going to. Just Agrabah. All, you, you all refugees from Agrabah and the suburbs of Agrabah. <laughs> yeah. and, 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 and finally, to the uh, numbers that John just read there 46% support a Muslim national database. I hope to God that the number would be far, far lower uh, for a Christian database. If you said, hey, should we have a database of all the Christians in the country just to make sure, just to make sure we monitor them? My guess is that the number would be significantly lower. And if you said, should we track all the Jews in the country, maybe create a database of them, right? So the numbers would be much lower. And, and, and we just have to acknowledge the, the state of fascism in the Republican Party that they don't think the same way about Muslims. They think, no, it is okay to track, identify Muslims, and even ban them from coming in this country. So 26% say, Islam should be illegal in the United States, yeah, one in which four. is which is one the most four. unconstitutional yeah, thing, most un-American thing you could do.